Hi guys, this is a little vlog of our North Carolina A&T Pen and My Trip Abroad. I uh, hope you guys enjoy what you see and that encourages you to go. So this is the first night. we A small group of us broke off and went to a restaurant, kind of just to explore the city. I ended up ordering a peach smoothie. It was really good. I enjoyed it. And I also had plantain lasagna. It's basically lasagna just with plantains instead of noodles. And plantains are like a pretty big part of Panamanian cuisine. So this is the next day at Panama Viejo. It is a cathedral basically built by the Spaniards. And these are the ruins because of earthquakes, pirate attacks, fires. A lot of things, you know, have kind of destroyed it. But this is the leftovers. As you can see, they're remodeling it. And there's me taking one of the touristy pics. And after this excursion, we went out to lunch and we were serenaded by a beautiful performance of Elvis Presley. <laughs> After lunch, we went to the square. It reminded me a lot of New Orleans French Quarter. And there were just so many stores, souvenir shops, even churches. And we were actually able to see a cultural dance. After we left the square, we drove through a poor part of Panama, and as you'll see later, I was speaking with Panamanian students, and this year is an election year for them, so she said that there's kind of a awakening within the country because citizens are not asking if the country is so rich or are we so poor, which I thought was very interesting. And after the day, we went to our welcome dinner. I really enjoyed everything we had. Here's some of the menu. We had arroz con pollo, ropa vieja, yuca, fried pork rind, and of course for dessert we had flan. I really enjoyed it. Some other people didn't, but it was good to me. And then the next day we went to Citibank, and I enjoyed this business trip because I learned a lot from it. During the Citibank tour, there were two things that really stood out to me. One, she pointed out, our speaker, she pointed out that Panamanians don't have their own currency. They they have something that they call balboas, and they have one, five, ten, twenty-five, and fifty cent pieces, and this is actually what their dollar looks like. And I also have a Panamanian quarter, and I have a U.S. quarter, and if you put them together, they're the same dimensions. You you could mistake it easily. The only thing is, you can't use Panamanian money in the U.S. as we know. And the second point that she made. I asked her how did she navigate doing business with international clients and she said that she had an instance where she had to work with the Japanese and she was not even acknowledged while she was in the room. And from an American standpoint, that scene is very disrespectful. You know, you have to greet everyone in the room, make sure that everyone's understanding. You know, that's very big is respect here. But in Japan, that is their version of respect because they just have different cultural values, especially toward gender. And I was glad that she spoke on that because in finance, I plan on doing a lot of international, you know, business with other people. And in order to be someone that is globally and culturally aware, you kind of have to just accept that in some places you're not going to be shown as much respect as you are somewhere else or even in the U.S. So our second trip of the day was to one of the big four, Ernst & Young. The presentation there, one thing that I did learn was that foreign investment is pretty important to the country and they'll actually have laws that accommodate foreign investors just to make sure that they are attracted to the country. And this is just some of the view. You know, everywhere we went, we had a great view. Here's me hanging out by the pool uh, at the hotel, me reflecting on how great of a trip it is. And for dinner, I had burrito tacos, and I'm from Houston, and this is actually the first time I've ever had them. They were amazing. I would definitely get them again. And so this is our Gamble Resort Hotel excursion. This is probably the most fun day for me. Uh, I know you can't see it, but in this enclosure, there are 
poisonous frogs and they're really tiny so you really wouldn't know that they're poisonous but here's a little rainbow i shot of it and then here we are at the butterfly exhibit they're actually eating on i think smushed bananas and sugar so there's that and in the next slide you see that we went to the sloth exhibit And these are just other shots of the hotel uh, after lunch. I think we all kind of just split off and just explored what, they, what was there. It was really beautiful. You can see the pool at the bottom. And we got on the aerial tram after lunch, which was nice just to relax and sit down. And we're going through the, uh, the, sorry, the rainforest. And it was beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see how high those stairs are, but that's all the flights that we had to climb. So I would definitely suggest that you start working out before you go on this trip. After the Monkey Island exhibit, we were going back to the hotel. We stopped at this roadside market to grab coconut. It was really good. I enjoyed it. This is the first time I had it. And this is Wednesday at the Metro National Park. We actually went on a hike. And this is just another view of the hotel at night. I really loved it. It was amazing. And this is us with the Panamanian students. We were able to meet with them and kind of connect, get their LinkedIn's numbers. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody from New York? Nobody from New York. Kentucky, Atlanta, Birmingham, Louisiana, Texas, Houston, North Carolina. What part of North Carolina? I'm from Raleigh, okay. And this is our last business trip. We actually went to the City of Knowledge and we got more information on the Panama Canal. There was a very insightful engineer. I believe his name was Miguel and he was talking about his 44 years of experience working there and now he is a consultant. So that's basically the end of the trip. This is us from Miami to Raleigh-Durham and the chaos that it took to even get on this plane was a lot, so I'm glad that we made it. So my overall experience going to Panama was really great. I would give it a 10 out of 10. The students that I went with, faculty, everyone was great. Everyone really got along. There was a sense of camaraderie, which I liked because the people that you're with, they really can't make or break a trip. And everything that we did, every excursion, I really enjoyed, especially the Panama Canal and going to the Gamble Resort. That day was filled with just a lot of activities and every one of them was really fun. Uh, lunch was great, going on the area tram through the rainforest and going to Monkey Island and seeing the monkeys. And I think one of the students, she actually was able to feed them, which I thought was really cool. And I was just glad that the monkey didn't come to the back of the boat where I was. But other than that, I really enjoyed myself. And I'm just really grateful that I had the opportunity because I've never been outside of the U.S., so when you don't really know something, then you don't know to go after it or you don't have the desire for it. But now that I've just had just, just this little exposure, it's kind of just set off this whole, uh, I guess, desire 
inside of me to really see what's out there. And it's really just broadened my horizon. So for other students at Kobe, I would really recommend that you, when the opportunity comes along to really give it some thought and try to do everything that you can to go on it because it adds a lot of intrinsic value. And also it looks great on a resume because now you have this experience that not many people get. So don't let it pass you by.